I'm going to show you how to HDR merge a set of bracketed exposures in order to create a 32-bit high dynamic range document, which we can then tone map. So first we can go to File and choose New HDR Merge. And then we need to add our images. So we can click Add, navigate to where we've stored that set of bracketed exposures, shift click to select them all, then choose Open. OK, so they appear in the file box. Now we've got some options down here. Automatically align images, I'm going to leave checked because I shot this bracket handheld. If you shot on a tripod, you could try unchecking this. Next we have automatically remove ghosts. If you have moving elements between each of your exposures, checking this will automatically try and use the most detailed areas from whichever images in order to remove the trail effect. Next we have noise reduction. I'm going to uncheck this because I shot JPEGs, or rather I'm merging these JPEGs. JPEGs have already undergone a degree of image processing including noise reduction, so further noise reduction is unnecessary. However, if you're HDR merging RAW files, you'll want to leave this checked. And finally, tone map HDR image means that as soon as the initial HDR merge has concluded, we will jump straight into tone mapping. That's what we want to do, so we will leave that enabled and click OK. So, Photo will then align each of these images and begin the HDR merge process. So what it does is it equalizes all of the exposures or images and then picks and chooses the most detailed pixels from that set of images and merges them together for extra precision. It results in all of these out of bound values like this pure white sky that you can see here. And what tone mapping does is it brings these values back in range, maps them back in range to something that can be displayed on your typical display. Okay, so when the tone map procedure finishes, we're going to see a vastly different result. Here we go. Okay, so first of all, I'll just quickly point out that we have various presets that we can choose from, including preset categories, on the left-hand panel here. So we can just click to apply these presets. However, we should focus over here on the tone map panel. So, tone compression is the amount of actual compression to apply to all of the out of bound values. So as I gradually increase this, it's bringing all of those values back in range so that they can be displayed. Local contrast is what's going to give you that renowned tone mapped look. Okay, and we can find a balance between these two sliders until we're happy with the overall look. Both of these will help to map the values back into range so that they can be displayed. So for this image, I might just apply a tiny bit of local contrast. But what I will do is scroll down here, enable shadows and highlights, and drag the highlights slider back about there. Okay, so that reveals some of this background detail, including the sun here. Now, additionally, I'm just going to increase the saturation slightly. And then I'll use curves. So curves is a really powerful tool within the tone mapping persona in order to really shape the tones. So I'm going to click drag. I'm going to bring those darker tones right down. Click drag again, perhaps boost around here, and then all the way up here I'm going to boost these, and that's dramatically improved the contrast in the image. Okay, so let's look at some other options as well. Perhaps we'll enable white balance and we can warm the image up slightly, perhaps change the tint, and then to round off we might just increase the black point. Now, with all of these options, you can either just drag the slider or you can actually set a value in the input box. And you can either just click into that and type a value, for example, 5, or you can use the icons here next to the input box 
to move the value up and down. So, once you're happy with the tone mapped result, you can click apply. This will then move you back to the main photo persona for further editing. And when you're ready to export, you can simply go to file and export. And these documents are in 32-bit unbounded, which is a completely different pixel format to eight or 16-bit integer. However, when you go to export, it will automatically convert to the appropriate bit depth for you. So you don't need to worry about converting your document down to 16 or 8-bit before you export. And there we go, just a quick overview of how to HDR merge your bracketed exposures.